close your eyes. And with your eyes comfortably closed, just bring your awareness to your breathing. Just focus your attention on your breaths. Just observing how your breaths are coming in and going out. And with each and every breath, just allow yourself to relax. Your eyes are closed, your physical body is beginning to relax, your mind is becoming quiet and calm. As you are beginning to go deep into a relaxation, which is very comfortable and very soothing. Breathe in and breathe out. Bringing your awareness to your physical body. Just giving an energetic hug to your body today. Embracing your body. Being present with the cells of the body. Right from the top of the head all the way. To the tips of your toes. Taking your awareness to the Mother Earth, connecting with the Mother Earth, embracing the Earth, pulling in the energies of the Earth all the way to the feet and through the feet, slowly moving up through every cell of the body, all the way up to the top of your head and out of your head to the universe, expanding your awareness beyond your physical body. In all the direction, beyond the room you're in, beyond the building, the city, the world, beyond the galaxy and all the galaxies beyond the universe and all the universes, connecting with the source. And allowing the energies across all the universes that are ready and willing to contribute to you to come through you the infinite you, the eternal you, through all those universes, those galaxies, those planets, those stars, like a stream of bright white light with sparkles of golden light in it, all the way to the top of your head, Through the crown chakra flowing gently and softly, yet profoundly into each and every cell of the body. Releasing everywhere you learnt to be upset for others. Everywhere you learnt to try to change the others. Let it all just release. Now, 
everywhere growing up, you learned it from your parents. As you observe them constantly trying to change you, trying to tell you what to do, what not to do. And everywhere that got galumped in your reality. And everywhere you bought the lie of this reality that you love. If you love someone, you try to change them. You try to make them what you think is the better version. Let all of that release. Everywhere you took your focus away from you to them. Whoever they are. Your family, your kids, your spouse, your parents, your siblings, your friends. Everywhere you are focused on changing their life and not yours. Let all of that release today. There is a difference between inspiring and contributing others and it's a very different energy when you get upset and emotional because others are not getting what you know or you think they should be getting or becoming what you know or think they should be becoming. Even if they are your own kids, you are not the God of their reality. You are the God of your reality. Let it all just release today. As this divine white light slowly flows down through the scalp, the head, the eyes, the nose, the cheeks, the mouth, the chin, the ears, releasing everywhere Knowingly, unknowingly, you are constantly looking at people with judgments, the perceptions. All the judgments you have of others. Everywhere you're focusing on what they are not doing, what they are not being, what according to them, according to you, you should, they should be doing. Let all of that release today. How much of your energy is going into them? Even if it is the slightest second of the day, is it worth it? Can you ever choose for others? Or are you here to choose for you? So why bother? Why not instead just focus on you and those who would like to choose for themselves may one day look at you and get inspired by the choices you make. Especially if you are a parent. Everywhere you bought the lie from your parents that your job is to tell your kid what is right or wrong for the kid. What if today we ask our angels, the guides and the universe to contribute to change this insanity from the planet Earth? What if the job of the parents is not to tell the child what they think is right for the child, 
What if the job of the parents is to provide an environment to the child in which the child discovers what is it the child is here for? To provide the environment to the child where the child can be himself or herself. Not every child is born to be a mathematician or a scientist or a doctor or an engineer or an accountant. There are artists and painters and actors and musicians that die because they are projected that that is wrong. So let all of that release everywhere it was done to you in this life or any other lifetime. Just allow that to release from your cellular memories today. Let the child in you come alive. Speak to that child today and tell that child, hey, I'm sorry. I let them do whatever they did to you. But I want to tell you, it's not over yet. And I am you from the future. And I'm much mature and stronger today. And I have come to you today to tell you I'm with you. You're not dying. We are living. We are coming alive. Embrace that child in you. Let this divine white light heal that child, the wounds of the childhood. When you were told what you're supposed to do for your family, for your society, for the people. Let all those wounds be healed today. Allowing this divine white light to dissipate, dissolve, erase and release all the cellular memories and energy blockages of all those times where you gave up on your awareness of who you be on the planet Earth, who you are truly as a being. Let all of that release. As this divine white light slowly flows all the way to the throat, the neck, the throat chakra, the shoulders, the arms, the hands. Releasing everywhere you concluded you should not speak up. As they don't understand and you suppressed your true self-expression. Let all of that release. And everywhere you started perpetrating that on the planet, everywhere you bought, oh, this is the way it is on the planet, and you started telling it to others, that they should be logical, that things don't do work this way, 
that their passion will not lead to money so they should not even think about it all of that just let all of that release and all this conflictual reality as you move towards the heart chakra the entire chest area the front and the back allowing your body to release the emotional conflict and simultaneously the mental conflict of your heart sending you signals of what it is that you are here for with these little desires that comes up little awarenesses that comes up and then your mind telling you what you should be doing let all of that release what if today we choose and we ask for coherence coherence between the heart and the mind What if today we ask for this reality to change on the planet Earth for us and for everyone else on the planet? Everything the parent and child relationship is, the mentor and child relationship is, everywhere adults think that their job is to tell the child and not to listen to the child. if we allow ourselves to listen to the child and if we allow ourselves to observe the kids there is a lot to learn as they are unadulterated they are full of wisdom and if we let them be we can have a magical world while we nourish them and provide them information on how to express themselves on the planet without making them wrong and today allow yourself to release from your body the cellular memories and energy blockages of all those times where you were made wrong and you concluded that you are wrong and the world has to be right let all of that release going all the way to the abdominal area the front and the back releasing everywhere you bought that just because they are providing you financially they are bigger than you they know more than you and every way they said it to you and you bought the lie that you cannot be anything without them let all of that just release there are kids who don't have parents and even they are surviving rather some of them are thriving on the planet so truths do you even need anyone in your life or is it always a choice but everywhere you bought the lie that you need people so you let them abuse you let all of that just release what if you don't need anyone you're just choosing to have them in your life and you be the god of your reality and choose to only have those who are contributing to you to have greater reality and those who are not can just leave knowing all the way your genitals your ovaries your testes
activating your powers, potencies, capacities, capabilities and talents. In your cellular memories, you also have the memories of your past lives where you were the highest and best potency of your being, of your talents and potencies. What if today we ask for those to get activated and let them show up in our life? What is it that you can do with so much ease and grace and beauty that it adds value to you and others? And what would it take for you to start taking actions on that and actualize it? Let all of that activate in your space today as this divine light slowly flows down through the thighs, releasing all the childhood traumas that you're hiding in your inner thighs and your outer thighs. Releasing everything you're sitting on that you don't want to sit on. flowing all the way to the knees and the calves. Releasing everything that doesn't allow you to stand for yourself. Stand tall and high. It doesn't matter what is your physical height. What matters is what is your energetic height. And today allow yourself to release all the mental blockages and the energy blockages of what you can and cannot do. And begin with whatever you can do today. And keep doing it. For the joy of it. And very soon you will you will be the maestro in your fields. This divine white light slowly flows through your feet to the Mother Earth, creating a huge ball of energy around your body, healing your energy bodies, your subtle bodies, your auric field connecting with your angels and guides. There are special guides who are here, especially to guide you on your life path. And they are the happiest today as you receive this healing and this awareness. Their job has begun. Do not let this divine white light to dim. Let it illuminate in your space and keep expanding. As you choose to be the creator of your reality. Your guides really want you to know, do not go into your head and try to come to the right thing to do. You will be guided. The awareness will come to you. And what if there is no one right thing? What if it could be multiple things and all of them contribute to you being who you are here to be? Allow 
allowing yourself to receive the guidance, the energies, the contribution of the angels, the guides, the beings contributing to you. Thanking the Mother Earth, thanking the universe, thanking all the angels and guides and beings contributing, thanking the collective consciousness. You can repeat with me. I am the God of my own reality. I am the God of my own reality. I am the God of my own reality. I choose to contribute to people by inspiring them through my choices and actions. I choose to contribute to people by inspiring them through my choices and actions. I choose to contribute to people through my choices and actions. I choose to be the inspiration. I choose to be the inspiration. I choose to be the inspiration. And please know that from now onwards, do not listen to those who put you down. Do not even listen to your own thoughts of the old memories of the words that others have given you that puts you down. Even if one person is living a better life because you are there, your job is done. And then it is all about multiplying that job. You are already a successful person. Know it and be it. Every moment of every day. Take a long deep breath in and let go bringing your awareness to your physical body. You can move your hands and your feet a little bit. You can rub your palms, put them on your eyes. Slowly and gradually, just open your eyes, just between your palms. And whenever you feel comfortable, just remove your hands, 